welcome to Allegra Design Marketing Print with Todd Henson. Todd, congratulations, Small Business of the Month for July. Thank you very much. We're awfully excited and very honored. Well, and I want to tell everybody, I'm blown away because Allegra, <laughs> now solo owner, solo CEO capacity here, yes. Mark used to be with me. Now Mark is at North Carolina Westland. You may have heard mm -hmm. from him out there or seen him, but um, y'all decided to, to pursue the paths that you felt most suited mm -hmm. for. And y'all have really made a lot of changes in Allegra. It's been it's been a whirlwind. It's been a good it's been a good year. It's been very busy. A lot of changes, um, very unexpected changes. But as we've grown to say, change is not bad. No, and and you've got a very engaged staff. We're going to go to each of yeah. their workstations <laughs> and talk to them and talk about their increased responsibilities and and kind of commitment to the business. But. Todd, haven't you found, like so many of us in small business owners, that if you're not changing, you're mm. becoming obsolete almost? It, it, everything seems to have changed really the last six or seven years for small, medium businesses. How you market yourself has changed, mm -hmm. how you have to compete has changed, uh, and all that affected who we are as a business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've, you know, for 25 years we've been here and really started out and grew as sort of the, a commercial printer, quick printer. Mm -hmm. Um, but the printing industry has changed mm -hmm. and really realized that it was more about how do we help those small, medium-sized businesses, how do we help them with their marketing, how do we help them grow. Mm -hmm. um, as a small business owner, I mean, I feel the challenges every day of how, do, how am I getting out and finding more customers, and how mm -hmm. am I growing, and that whole thing seems to just have changed in the last seven or mm -hmm. eight years for everybody. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and we, we need your wisdom because like other businesses, can't concentrate on that and right. so we rely more on you than ever before to say, okay, I know I need to market, tell me what my options are and what you found right. to be best for my industry. Well, and, and that's really where we saw the opportunity is, we were struggling with it, but we knew if we're struggling, so is everybody else. Mm -hmm. and, and we all go to work and you're just fighting every day to get check stuff off your list. Mm -hmm. Nobody has time to really think through the marketing side and making mm -hmm. sure you're doing the right things. So we just reorganized, restructured several years ago to get more in that line of work. Mm -hmm. um, we've got great staff that can help with all of the marketing side, design side, the print side, really geared towards bringing measurable results. Mm -hmm. um, what's, what's your goal? What do we do to help you get there? And then you gotta be able to track it. Mm -hmm. If you don't spend money, you gotta know that you're spending on the right thing. Oh, yeah. And and that's, that's really where we've been fortunate the, the last six or seven years really to sort of shift the business mm -hmm. and and we've been very blessed we've been growing it's been a good transition um, but it's but it is very different now than we were mm -hmm. seven or eight years ago mm -hmm. which is fun well we're going to go see them let's go to the banner presentation um, okay. where the chamber gives you and it anoints you <laughs> small <laughs> business of the month and then we'll be back with one of your employees sounds great okay stay with us i'm roger taylor chair of the rocky mountain area chamber of commerce a lot of great things going on in Rocky and Mount, but right today is a special day because our July winner of the Small Business of the Month, we're going to celebrate with Allegra Design, Marketing, and Print. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but we congratulate you. It's a great honor. You and your family have been here so much. So many years, and I'm going to let Kristen Brabble, new vice chair of the Small Business Committee, uh, so, and part of the selection team say a few words. Thank you Roger. On behalf of the Small Business Committee I would like to congratulate Allegra again on winning July Small Business of the Month. Um, from the bottom of our hearts and from this committee we truly appreciate your support and I don't say that lightly. We, we see your name on everything and you are willing to get involved on everything. So thank you so much. Go ahead Todd. Thank you. We appreciate the, the the recognition, we're, we're, we're very honored, we're very blessed. All, all of our staff is somewhere in and around, and um, we thank the Chamber and we thank everybody in Rocky Mount. We've been here 25 years and it's home for all of us. We feel awfully fortunate to be part of the community of Rocky Mount, especially the Chamber of Commerce and all that they do, and we're just, we're very humbled and very blessed. Thank you very much. It's always a great joy and, and, and what happens is we select 11 monthly winners and in June of 2016 we will have a nice uh, activity as we did last month and 
uh, uh, we'll have a small business of the year and, and you are in that hunt. But local right. businesses, local small businesses mean so much to our area and individuals and, and families that take risks like the Henson family and Allegra, it's always exciting. It's always exciting that they stay here 25 years. I just started my 40th, so I know how the legs go. <laughs> but to your organization and to my chamber members and to my ambassadors that are here today, we say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Todd, as promised, we are back behind the door that people see <laughs> yes. when they come in. Van Brockwell, thank, thank you for being such a good sport. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Todd, good to be here. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Todd, how about if you take it and kind of talk about what Van does? Sure. And we'll I sure will. Uh, Van Brockwell, Van has been here, I think, probably the longest of any of our staff. Uh, I think we have lost track of years, but it's got to be getting close to 15, maybe, somewhere in there. No, it's just 11. Uh, just 11? 11 yeah. Seems so much longer. It does, it does. <laughs> um, but Van has done a little bit of everything, but, but primarily Van is the production manager, um, sort of runs the shop here for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Van's the one responsible for a lot. He's doing the scheduling. He's ordering the supplies. He knows where all the jobs are in the system as we work through jobs. Um, and then Van's also running the equipment. Um, he's running the big color black and black and white digital presses that we've got. Is that what this is right here? Which is what this is. Um, and, you know, with the change in our business in the printing world, so much of what we do is just digital instead of offset press work. Um, and so that's what it's, it's continues to get more and more and that's what van really specializes in and keeping these big digital presses running all day every day and and really just sort of keeping track of where everything is in the shop um, and how do you stay stay abreast of the new trends do you have to go out go for training somewhere or do you figure it out yourself or what uh pretty much just figure it out myself um i think we've kind of changed with the industry mm -hmm. and with the way todd has stayed ahead of the curve i think that enables us to stay ahead of the curve as well and um, it pretty much just, um, I think the main thing that's happened is this paper sizes and going all digital um, has really changed the way we do things here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just it's kind of nice because it's a little bit different every day. Mm -hmm. Well, and all the, the equipment, is, has it gotten a lot smaller? And you, you probably have <laughs> Not really. No? no, not really. It's, um, say this is about as big as we've had. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is this? This is a this is a large color copier. Wow. <laughs> um, color press. Color press. Color press. Um, but it we we are, we're an all Conicum and Ultra shop. Everything we run, is, we we partner with them. Um, this is this is their largest production model that they make. Very very new to the market. We've had maybe maybe four months. Five or six. Five, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but does great. It's phenomenal what it'll do. Um, van, and Van is very good at making it run. Um, it's not as easy as sort of green button push and go. Oh, yeah, um, th there, there is a fine skill push the button. to um, to do what needs to be done to get these machines to perform and, and, and to his credit, Van does a great job. Thank you. Well, Van, I have to say when he told me all you, your responsibilities up front, I started thinking, well, why do we need Todd? That That's a good too? question, yeah. <laughs> we might need to investigate that. That is a good question. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I thought everything he said that you do would have been what he does. So. Yeah. We'll talk later, okay? That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Now we are back. We're, we're talking with Sandra, uh, who is the, she's going to be the voice, the face. She is the one that you're probably going to hear or talk to when you call Legger. She is our customer service specialist here. And, um, relatively new to our team but she is awfully awfully invaluable and we just appreciate that she is here and all that she's doing for us um sandra really sort of the glue that holds the things on the front end of the business together um, allowing aaron uh, and myself to get out more and be more face time with our clients and really helping them sandra's sort of the one who's here getting orders in the system and getting things the paperwork done correctly and making sure we've got our stuff right so we can get in production and get out the door on time. I noticed when I walked in the door, you came running. May I help you? So <laughs> you weren't sitting out there. You were back here working, yes. but you don't. You didn't miss anything there. Um, so you've been here how long, Sandy? A little over three months now. Oh, okay. And and was customer service your profession before you came here? That in accounting. Oh, okay. Tell us what you like about your job. I love the group that I work with. It's really a nice family group, mm -hmm. and everybody pulls together as a good team. 
Well, good. And so anytime the first person who answers the phone is going to be Sandra. That's right. It's Thank either going to be Sandra or myself and probably Sandra. <laughs> and Sandra, I would think the longer you're here, the more you're able to. If somebody says, can you do this, can you do that, you just automatically say, yes, we can, and make Todd figure it out. Or, exactly. Oh, okay. That's that's the job of us, anybody here. If, if we can do it, we'll figure it out. So we rarely say no. Uh -huh. And what's the, what do you see the most of as far as the type of works? the jobs that have been taken in that you've kind of overseen so far? Uh, a lot of the orders of business cards and what, brochures and mm -hmm. banners. Hmm. And, and when people call in and they say, you know, what do you, do they ever ask your opinion, like what you suggest? Or do oh, they yes, pretty much know what they want when they call? Some of them call in, don't know what they want, but uh -huh. we figure it out for them. Okay. And that's a good motto. We that's figure right. it out for them. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. And we're going to go to a break right now. And we'll, when we come back, we'll meet the other four employees here. Stay with us. And we are back with Aaron Gall, and welcome, Aaron. Thank you. I have to say that, that Todd, and you know this, Aaron is so much the face of Allegra and has been for a long time. She, she is, and we're awfully blessed and thankful. Well, and I don't think you have any better cheerleader than Aaron Gall. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Aaron, I think you nominated the business, and how wonderful, Todd, that one of your employees thinks so much of you. and the caliber of work and what you do for the community, which we'll talk about later in the show, that, that Aaron really wanted to, to get y'all out there and just say, these are great people and I work yeah, for them. So, we're we're Aaron, awfully blessed. Kind of give us your 30 second elevator speech. As, as sure. Say. <laughs> um, well, again, I, I think Allegra is a wonderful company and celebrating 25 years this year and um, the Footprint Fund doing $10,000 towards nonprofits. I just really thought that Allegra was reaching out and doing above and beyond as always and they've been great with letting me out and um, volunteer in, at the community, the chamber and different events and um, they really believe in giving back to the community and I just thought so much about them and all of our growth here with um, the wide format and mailings and everything that we've just taken on and really seem to excel at mm -hmm. or that I just thought a lot about them and a lot about the company and I enjoy working here and um, just thought I'd throw in their name for the, the award. Super. And you were ambassador of the year one year for the chamber, weren't you? I was. I think it was maybe 2011. Uh -huh. um, and now I work with Amanda Bell as her co-chair on the events committee. Oh, great. Well, how does that make you feel, Todd? <laughs> well, tell, tell us about Erin. She <laughs> yes, brag on you. You brag she, on her. She, she's great. I mean, Jean, you know, Mark, my brother and I have done this for 25 years, and both of us immediately just jumped out into the community and really wanted to do all we could and volunteered all the places that we felt like we could do it. And then when we when Erin came to work with us years ago as another salesperson, I mean, she quickly just wanted to get involved and do more stuff. And, and it's been great for us to give her that opportunity to say, do what you want to do and just get involved. It's, it's not about Allegra and business as much as it's about just getting out and, and helping yeah, you know, the chamber and nonprofits mm -hmm. and things that she does. Um, it, it's great. I mean, we're, we're awfully proud of what she does, and, and she's phenomenal at it. And you, so your primary responsibilities are sales? Yes, ma'am. Outside sales um, and working with Sandra, make sure she has the training that Todd mm -hmm. does as well, mm -hmm. and just making sure that we're in front of people's faces and um, working hard to enhance their business and hopefully do it in a way that's serving to God. Now we're talking with Denise Sharp. Denise is one of our two graphic designers, uh, very talented. Uh, we're awfully blessed to have her here working with us. Um, Denise does a little bit of everything from the graphic design world. For us at Allegra, she also teaches graphic design um, at Nash Community College. Um, so she has an influence not on only our folks here and folks we do work with, but for the next generation of graphic designers coming out. Um, but Denise, tell us just a little bit as far as you know what what you do here for us uh, from a graphic design world. Sort of, you know, can you give us a, just a little recap? Um, well, we start with, uh, for instance, here we're working on the Wesleyan magazine. Um, start from scratch. They give me all the information. I put it together and it make it look nice and make sure everything is print ready and 
go from all, there. Yeah, all the projects we do are, are very custom. Uh, every client has a different idea of what they want, what their likes are, sort of the feel of the piece, whether it be a simple business card to a you know, pretty complex um, magazine, website, whatever it may be. Um, and part of, part of that process Denise will do is design to that particular business or person's uh, liking for a style. And Todd, I think um, with part of the, the recreation to evolve to meet the needs, uh, growing needs of people, I see more things that you'll bind. I mean, there, mm -hmm. you will take, mo you can create most any in-house or out-of-house mm -hmm. piece, whether it's a booklet, whether it's a, give us the, this broad range, Denise, of, of types of things you do, types of pieces you personally have done. Oh, anything from, you know, small business card to huge displays. Um, mm -hmm. We just worked on a wrap for a van, um, of course, magazines, brochures, uh, posters, banners, anything that can be made pretty, we do it. <laughs> well, it's, it. It's a pretty good gamut of, you know, covers for booklets to, you know, decals for windows, car bumper stickers, um, any and everything that you can see. And, and a lot of what the trend we're seeing is what Denise and Philip, who you'll meet in a little bit, do from the design world. A lot of stuff some, we're not even printing anymore. It becomes more of a digital file, um, you know, web, web development, web mm -hmm. ads that people are putting on, um, on websites or Google ads. Um, and you, you develop those we, for people? We develop those for people, um, online directories. Instead of having to print it, there's still a searchable online type directory. Um, it's really as you, as you just start thinking through how you interact in today's world, it's more visual and somebody still has to create that artwork somewhere, and that's what Denise and Philip do for us. I think it's neat that you're at the community college because you probably learn ideas interacting with the students there too, don't you? Oh, yes, they are a wonderful group. I enjoy teaching them. Um, we bounce ideas off each other all the time. Sometimes I have even taken a little project in to, um, mm -hmm. it's a real job, and have them come up with some ideas and bring them back to me, and they're a great group. And if we're not listening to the millennial generation has surpassed all sizes, so we need to right. get their input in order to, to be sure that we're reaching them, don't exactly. we? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Uh -huh. Do you have a lot of repeat bit business? That, for instance, do you do regularly uh, the Wesleyan um, program or book that goes out, and do you have people that you know that it's an, you know every quarter they'll send you the content to updo, to, to redo something or do the latest edition? Oh, yes. We have uh, many, many repeat customers. Um, we'll have some new ones come in uh, as well, a wide variety of, of people, but we've got a lot that are repeat customers and they're all great people to work with. Mm -hmm. well, good. Well, thank, you. thank you. We're now with Philip Stone, our other graphic designer and, and also our wide format um, guru. Um, a guru? Allegra. Are you a guru, <laughs> Philip? They, they pay me and I do it. And so you, yeah. I'll well, you're that. the person who knows how to run the equipment. You're officially the guru. <laughs> Uh, but Philip's been here for an awfully long time uh, with us. Um, How long, maybe, Philip, do you have? Uh, about six and a half, seven years. Yeah, okay. yeah, maybe, yeah that's about right. Yeah. And um, Philip, along with Denise, who you've met, um, does graphic design. Same thing Denise does, runs the whole gamut of projects for us here. Uh, but then Philip also um, has a great talent at, at, with the equipment and helps in the back with some of the production work and, and primarily we, we still produce here a lot of the wide formats, what we you know, call the signs, posters, banners, mm -hmm. displays. Is that what wide format means? Mm -hmm. okay. Anything, you know, we, we saw with Van running the digital production copiers, we can run a sheet size, it's 13 by 19. Mm -hmm. But if you need a big two foot by three foot poster or an outdoor banner or uh, yard signs um, to, to promote events, um, banner stands, displays, those are things that tend to be, you know, large print. We, we have the equipment capa capacity to do that here, and Philip has the expertise and, and usually runs and helps finish and put that type of stuff together for us. Philip, are you doing a map? Is that what I see, kind of something promoting Rocky Mount on your screen right now? Uh, what I have here is a brochure for the Imperial Center, advertising all its features for this quarter, the Children's Museum, the theater, the uh, planetarium. We This is the fourth in a uh, series we've done over the last year, one, one per quarter, 
advertising what they got up. This goes at the Welcome Centers, north and south, right. where people traveling to, to get them to stop in Rocky Mountain. And if you had to say kind of what the difference between the projects that Denise takes on and you take on, how would you how would you verbalize that? I probably get more than the wide format projects. Uh, otherwise, we it's whoever gets to it first. Uh, we yeah. we do we do everything. Right. Uh, business card brochure catalogs. Uh, there's really no difference other than probably the wide format pieces because mm -hmm. I'll I'll handle those from start to finish, and just easier that way. Right. And you send a proof then to most people with a, a file as opposed to right. used to fax or deliver or whatnot. Right. So that's made a lot yeah. easier, hadn't it? Most everything is just, we just email out PDF files back and forth to clients. If they're larger files, we'll drop them in, in shared folders that we can all access together off the internet. And, and everything's just done digitally. Mm -hmm. um, we still we, we have a lot of clients that are out of town. Um, mm -hmm. Makes it easier that way. It's just simply a email or or checking a file. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes it pretty easy, Good. pretty seamless. Philip, we're, we're fortunate. Yeah. Philip, for, for that long, lives down in, in uh, Johnston County <laughs> near yes. Kenley. So we're, mm -hmm. we appreciate the fact that he makes effort every day. He gets here probably before anybody else, and he's got the longest commute. So <laughs> he does a great job. love working here, don't you, Philip? I can't complain. It's great. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you. We're joined by Barrett Allen. You really wanted to be on TV, didn't you? Oh, very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've moved, Todd. Tell us about where we are. We are back. We're in the finishing area of the shop. Barrett um, is, is new to the team, but been here long enough that he is a very valuable part of our group. Um, we're, we're very blessed to have Barrett join our staff. But Barrett, Barrett does all the finishing work for us, Gene. Things, I mean, we still we print, produce an awful lot of stuff every day. It all comes back in this area. Barrett's either cutting it, he's padding it, folding it, stitching it, um, laminating, uh, whatever needs to be done to get a job finished and, and, and ready for what the client wanted in the end mm -hmm. is what Barrett does. Um, he gets all that done. He's going to box it. He's going to make sure if it needs to be counted out and boxed in particular methods. He takes care of any and everything there, and then ultimately we'll get that box either shipped out UPS, if we're going to deliver it locally on our truck, he'll get it ready for our delivery driver to take out, um, or if it's somebody that's going to pick it up, then he'll, he'll notify the customer and say, hey, your job's ready, and feel free to come by anytime and pick it up. So, Barrett, you're the last person who sees it and handles it before the customer gets it, right? Yes, ma'am. And that's pretty important because first impressions, last impressions, I mean, you got to have it right. Uh, well, I try. <laughs> I don't get it right 100%, but I try. We do. It's it's. We laugh. Barrett's the one. If he if he messes up in the end, we got to start all over again. So he has a little bit of pressure on him, but he he handles it very well. He'll he's modest. He doesn't he doesn't mess up much and has a great eye for detail. And what did you do before you came here, Barrett? Um, I worked at another printing company here in Rocky Mountain. Well, and I would think, in not knowing who it is, but I'm going to just say that the Henson family is a very nice family to work with, aren't they? Oh, very nice. Well, I was very fortunate that they brought me on, and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And so this whole area is your area. You kind of, this is all <laughs> yours, right? This, this is, is Barrett's my... domain. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, great. Well, anything you want to tell us, what's your favorite thing you do? He loves it all, Todd. I, well, I tell you, what, I it, Barrett's to job probably, he has more change in his daily schedule right. than anybody. There, there really is no telling when he walks in every day and we laugh what he's going to end up having to do. Um, but I, I guess, I'll speak for you, that's, he says he, that, that he enjoys that. I do. Yeah. I do. I, that's much better than same old, same old. I yeah, mean, it's not the same old, same old, that's for sure. That's Great. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. I see why you brag on your staff. They're great. I've got, I've got great people. You really they make look, me look good, and I appreciate uh, it every day. Well, and vice versa, but that's important. I mean, the employees make the employer, so to yes, speak, in the business. I want to talk about the philanthropy. Mm -hmm. um, you're third generation, right, being mm -hmm. in, in the area, and I have always seen Allegra written as a, a group, a company that cares about the community, that gives back. You, through the chamber, you sponsor mm -hmm. a lot of things and whatnot. But I read in the paper for your 25th anniversary, y'all hit a big home run committee. Talk to us about that. We did. This February this year was our 25th anniversary, and Mark and I knew, kind of getting in, leading into that, we wanted to do something. Rocky Mount's home for us for five generations of our family, and just it's where we've always 
been in business and won't always help. So we set aside um, $10,000. We set up what we called a footprint fund. And it was, it was to help and assist nonprofits in, in the Rocky Mount, you know, Twin County area um, with whatever marketing needs they may have to help mm -hmm. further their causes, to help them either raise more money, gain more awareness, so that ultimately that $10,000 may multiply mm -hmm. for them um, in donations and exposure. You're paying and, it um, forward. We're trying to pay it forward. It worked yeah. out great. Uh, we had a great committee that reviewed mm -hmm. the grant applications and we're halfway through the year and we've worked with about half of those folks we've been able to go ahead and complete the project mm -hmm. but it was great it was very fulfilling to us to be able to try to help out and and i fully expect that that will become a yearly thing that we'll just continue to do each year now instead of doing it on special occasions we'll we'll probably have another announcement out towards the end of this year that we'll be taking grant applications for next year to do the same thing well, we are mighty proud to have y'all as a part yeah, of our community. The lake has been, been very important to the success of Rocky Mount, and I wish you many, many more years. Well, thank more you. generations, right? We're, we're awfully <laughs> blessed. That's right. we got more generations coming, so uh -huh. we, we, we'll look forward to it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.